It was not the job Mary Till had dreamed about, and it did nothing to satisfy the deep longing she had to be a full-time mom. But the family's growing financial pressures drove Mary out the door each morning to work. It was very stressful. I think the worst part of it was our son was about two, and every morning I would see his little face pressed up against the window with this horrible, horrible cry, and it just, it tore my heart out. Meanwhile, Mary's husband Joe was working two jobs, yet the family was in a constant battle to pay the monthly bills. What am I working for? I'm working and working and we're still not making ends meet. It's like the old cliche, robbing Peter to pay Paul. I'm like, oh, well, this bill is more important this month. I'll pay this one this month. I just didn't want to live like that. I didn't want the frustration. I didn't like who I, it was turning me into. One day, the Tills decided to break the cycle. They stepped out in faith and Mary quit her job to stay home with her son. They weren't sure how they would pay their bills. I gave my notice and I think I shook for three days straight and I remember just praying and praying and praying and praying. I don't think I've ever prayed so much or so hard. It was terrifying, it was honestly terrifying. Soon after, Joe discovered a financial principle that changed everything. One of the things that Pat said in his book, The Secret Kingdom, The Law of Reciprocity, is that if you're in financial trouble, first thing you should do is start giving money away. And, you know, of course that doesn't make sense in a, you know, in a, in a concrete world that we live in. The Tills decided to try out this principle of giving, since nothing else they tried seemed to work. Mary and Joe were passionate about CBN's efforts to reach the world for Christ, and they decided to include CBN in their giving. There have been times when I didn't know how this bill was going to get paid, where we had some unexpected expense come up, and then the phone would ring, and the commission I make on that was more than enough to cover what we needed in that, in that expense. So the Lord always provides. He's always faithful to us. Mary is now able to stay home with her three children, and Joe's insurance business has grown steadily each year. Looking at where we are now, I don't think, I can honestly say there isn't a day that I don't stop in my tracks and just say thank you. I'm just amazed every day at where we were and how far we've come and that it wasn't us doing it, that it was so evident in so many ways that God had his hand in it.